Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where I'm back here in the UK at my local park, of course the Alton Towers Resort to bring you all the first Scarefest construction updates of 2021. This year's spectacular Halloween event at Alton Towers will run from the 8th to the 10th of October and then every day from the 15th through until the 31st of October. Here at Theme Park Worldwide we love the Halloween season, especially Scarefest here at our local park. So in this video I'm going to talk you through the events, what we can expect for this year in terms of returning classics, new attractions and so much more. And it's the 1st of September, construction has now started around the park for Scarefest and we can't wait to bring you all of the latest updates. So come join me in this video for our first Scarefest construction update of 2021. Let's start off then by talking about the four scare mazes that will make up this year's event. Two of them will be located within the Towers Ruins, Altonville Mine Tours, The Legend of the Skin Snatchers, and also the Attic, Terror of the Towers, are both back for 2021, and of course are located inside the ruins themselves. Just off to the left of there, you've got the pathway that leads down to Dark Forest. Darkest Depths will be back this year, and that's going to be located in the same area that it was last year, on that pathway that leads down towards 13 and Retail. And then along with that, returning for a second year, you've got Freak Show Toxic Junkyard, which is going to be in the space where it was last year, next to the Games Bunker. And that's where we're going to start off today's update, by taking a look at what's happening down there so far. So as we move down here to the Golf Challenge, as you can see, a couple of different shipping containers have now been moved into this location. Last year, these were actually double stacked. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see if the same happens this year or not. Um, but like I say, this is for Freak Show, Toxic Junkyard. It's a circus clown themed attraction. And it was really good last year. I did enjoy it. It was an outdoor attraction. You didn't actually head into these containers. They were just at the side with some scenes located within them. However, I did feel like last year, the fact that it was raised up a lot higher um, certainly added to it. So I'm really hoping that it's just a matter of those other containers haven't been lifted into place so far but yeah this is early days construction's only started over the past few days and yeah that's all there is really to see down here from this angle at the moment so it's early days really at the moment in terms of the construction taking place over at Toxic Junkyard. Looking forward to seeing how that progresses over the next few weeks. Are we going to see them containers stacked on top again or is it going to be a different layout this year? Look forward to seeing it. Um, last year's attraction was mostly outdoors but you did walk through a couple of containers um, at one point in that. And of course at the end of the attraction um, there was a lot of barbed wire and you were going through uh, barbed wire's reclaim yard throughout the attraction. And that's what really made it for me because you had lots of old bits of Alton Towers Scarefest history in there. A few different props and theming items that have been in past mazes here at the park. Um, so yeah, it'll be really nice to see them come back this year. Along with some new bits in there as well. Something that I loved in there was the audio and the lighting as well. So I'm sure it'll be just as spectacular this year. It'd just be nice to see a few more tweaks to some of the other different sections. Like I say, I think it'd be nice to have some more interior um, areas where you walk through and see some more different scenes. But of course, we'll follow it over the next few weeks as it's progressing. Up next then, we're going to take a little walk down towards Darkest Depths. Now, this attraction, much like most of the attractions here at Alton Towers, have actually been able to be left set up. Um, so we're probably not going to see Lowe's, but we're going to have a little look up there and see if anything's happening. So just on the pathway now that leads from the Towers Ruins down to Dark Forest, and this is the location of Darkest Depths back for its third season and second in this location. When it was first launched, it was actually down in Mutiny Bay in the courtyard area just there. Very fitting with it being a pirate themed attraction on board the Mutiny. Uh, it fit in really well there. However, last year it was relocated to here and you know what? The attraction was even more spectacular. I did have my doubts last year about, oh, is it still going to be as good not in the pirate themed area here? However, it was brilliant. So yeah, looking forward to seeing it this year. As you can see, it's still got the big fence up at the moment. Uh, with this attraction being housed in the building you can see at the back there, uh, this isn't used for anything else throughout the year. So yeah, the whole thing has been left set up. So I'm expecting it to be similar to what it was in 2020. However, that isn't a bad thing because it was a really good attraction. Some nice smells, theming, the acting quality was brilliant. And it was actually still classed as a family attraction. Whereas this year, it's been marketed along with the thrill majors here at Alton Towers Scarefest. So I'm looking forward to seeing if there's any more enhancements because let's be honest, it was pretty intense in some sections. So looking forward to that. 
yeah, all the facades still in place. And like I say, most of the maze is built kind of on the pathway all around the back there and also in the green building. That green building actually used to house parade floats here at Alton Towers back in the day uh, when they used to do the parades. Fun little fact for you. I'm really looking forward to Darkest Depth returning for this year's Scarefest. I thought it was a great attraction the past two years. It's one that's just kept getting even better, so it'll be interesting to see if there's any more changes what they've made to it this year, um, especially with it being now classed as a thrill attraction at Scarefest. You never know, there might be some even more intense scares in there. Not like it really needed them, to be honest, because I really enjoyed it before. I know a lot of people um, found it to be quite underrated, you know, because of how well themed it is, the smells, the costumes, and on board, the mutiny. You know, you don't feel like you're in shipping containers walking around that it's so well themed so yeah looking forward to that returning um, to Scarefest this year made my way around now into the beautiful her ladyship's gardens to talk about the two scare mazes that are going to be located within the ruins this year so returning for its third year to Scarefest will be the attic terror of the towers located on the upper levels of the towers ruins right up there just where we can see them windows all blacked out um, but yeah, this was a great attraction last year, really enjoyed it. When it launched in 2019, I thought it was a good attraction, but not one of my favourites that Alton Towers have ever done. Last year, the acting quality was really stepped up and thought it was absolutely awesome. So yeah, looking forward to that returning this year and seeing if there's been any enhancements. In terms of the queue line um, for the attic, that all goes in this bottom section of the ruins just here. Happy to report though, the ruins are still open to walk around, which has been a big thing for me this year, especially over summer. I spent many days just coming up here for a nice walk around, spending a bit of time sat on the roof, just listening to the sights and sounds of Alton Towers. And uh, I'm really pleased that the park have kept the ruins open for us to walk around. Of course, they've not left loads of them open up because the mazes are still set up. However, um, they've kept this bottom section open, which I'm really pleased about, and also access onto the roof. But yeah, in terms of the attic, normally all this area is used as the queue line. You then head round to the left, and the pre-show is at the other side of them steps. And then you climb up the stairs into the attic itself and of course where the rest of the attraction is located. No other changes to see up here just yet. This will be the exit to the attic and you'll make your way down these steps here and make your way out of the tower's ruins. So yeah, in general, I'm really looking forward to the attic coming back for this year. Hoping again there's a few more changes. Coming back for its third year, so it's always nice when they freshen things up, especially when last year there wasn't really any changes to the theming or the experience. It was just the acting quality what really improves. And that's a big part of these mazes. It's the acting quality what makes it. So looking forward to seeing that. And like I say, returning for its third year. Uh, it just makes me really happy though, being able to still walk around the tower's ruins at the moment. And you know, the towers are a spectacular location location for scare mazes they really are and I don't have any problem with that it's just when it's summer you want to be able to enjoy the ruins and go up on the roof in the summer and I've seen so many guests doing that this year uh, which makes me really happy actually because it's stunning like this is the heart of Alton Towers and it does feel like this year Alton Towers have really started to realize that again uh, by leaving it open and there was no reason to have them closed off all summer uh, I mean that the two mazes that are inside the ruins are practically still set up anyway so it should take a matter of a week or so to just set up the queue lines and exits they don't need to be closed for a long period of time so yeah you know don't get me wrong I love the mazes being in here just only over Halloween and like a month before for preparation not when they're closed and for all of the year so let's talk about the fourth and final scare maze that's going to make up this year's lineup and it is Altonville Mine Tours, The Legend of the Skin Snatchers. Now this maze is located directly below where I'm standing now in the basement of the Tower's Ruins. I've got to say, with Altonville Mine Tours, it's actually going to be the sixth year that this maze has been a part of the lineup for Scarefest, which in my opinion is way too much, especially when you're actually charging for admission to these mazes. So Altonville Mine Tours first premiered in 2016 here at Scarefest. So yeah, it's been a long time now that we've had this attraction and it's not really changed that much other than a new ending. And when that's the case, things become a bit stale, don't they? And especially when you're paying for that attraction. I really thought that last year was gonna be the final year of Skin Snatchers. I thought that was it for Altonville Mine Tours, but it's back for a sixth year this year. I'm hoping that they have done some more changes in there um, to further enhance it or just make it that little bit different because don't get me wrong, 
wrong. It's a gorgeous attraction. The theming in there, the smells, the lighting, the costumes, how claustrophobic some of the scenes are is great, but it's just time for something new, especially when they're charged attractions. If you're included in admission, then fair enough. But the fact that you're paying for the same thing every year, I really thought that that would have been it for uh, Altonville Mine Tours last Scarefest. So I'm really hoping that next year, 2022, we see a brand new thrill maze for Scarefest. I'm uh, very much hoping so. But uh, yeah, like I say, it's located directly down below where I'm standing now. We'll go back down the steps and just see if any more themings come out. So yeah, no real changes to report on down here at the moment. In the top there, just underneath the trees, you can see what will be the entrance to Waltonville Mine Tours, the legend of the skin snatchers. Underneath the tarpaulin there, that's some of the props and theming for the queue line. And that's what this will be just down here. That gate will be open. This will all be part of the queue line. Something I've always liked about it though is queuing up through the tunnel just there from X Sector. It always makes a good start for a scare attraction. And of course, down there at the bottom, you can see some more props and scenery for the queue line. So just whilst we're up here in the tower's ruins, thought I'd show you one more view across to what will be Freak Show Toxic Junkyard, the mostly outdoor attraction at Scarefest. And yeah, you get another view at the shipping containers just there. And like I say, it's in early construction that. Um, there's not really many other props or anything out at the moment, but I'm sure we're really gonna start to see that progress over the next few weeks. So they are the four different scare mazes that will make up Scarefest 2021. In terms of my thoughts on it, like I've said throughout the video, really looking forward to Darkest Depths coming back. I thought that was a great attraction and that's still got more to give. I'm looking forward to them giving it another push for this year. Along with that, the attic, I thought that was beautiful last year and looking forward to seeing it returning for its third year. Uh, and then along with that, you know, in terms of Freak Show Toxic Junkyard, I wanna see them push that more. Uh, I really feel like they can do more with that attraction, especially with the theme and the scenery items and the location as well because they've got um, so much space to play with there so uh, I'm really hoping that we see that enhanced even more for 2021 and then of course Altonville Mine Tours well you know it is what it is it's back this year but I'm hoping that they've made some changes in there just so it's not too stale especially when you're paying extra for these attractions you've got to bear in mind these aren't free they're not included in admission they're up charges on top of admission all four scare mazes so in my opinion I'd love to see them go back to how it was a few years ago where a scare maze would really only stay for three or four years maximum and then it would get changed you know they put something new in they take an old maze out and put a new one in so i'd love to see them go back to that but 2022 there really needs to be at least one maybe even two new scare mazes here at alton towers just to really freshen up the lineup Something that there is though that's new for 2021 is a family walkthrough attraction. So I'm gonna talk all about that now. So I've made my way down from the Towers Ruins here to the Alton Towers Dungeon. And of course this opened back in 2019 in part of the former Charlie and the Chocolate Factory show building. Well, seems like some of the other part of that building is gonna be used for Scarefest this year. Because over the past few days, this new wooden structure has started to be erected on the side of the former Charlie and the Chocolate Factory building. So yeah, this is believed to be for the new family attraction for this year, which is Trick or Treat Town. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing exactly what this is going to be like. I'm expecting something similar maybe to House of Monsters and um, that they ran for a couple of years here at Scarefest. It was a really good interactive attraction. Um, but yeah, I reckon we might be seeing something similar to that. However, this in a new location, like I say, nothing's actually been in this part of the building since it was Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So yeah, it's been empty inside uh, this side of the building for quite a few years, because like I say, the dungeon only takes up a portion of this building. Now, we don't really know all of the exact details yet for Trick or Treat Town, this new family attraction. However, what we do know is that this is gonna be full on for the families. Um, with Darkest Depths over the past couple of years, that has been that family attraction for Scarefest. Not anymore. That is going to be a thrill maze, a proper scare maze as part of the lineup. And this, of course, is going to be designed purely for families. So, look forward to seeing what it's like. Worth pointing out, though, that it is actually an upcharge attraction, much like the scare mazes. So, bear in mind, there's going to be five different upcharges for Scarefest this year, which is quite a lot, isn't it? Especially when people are paying um, to come into the park as it is. The fact that all of your walkthrough attractions you've got to pay extra for, it is a shame, isn't it, about that? You know, I wish that we'd go back to the days of having at least one or two free attractions and then a couple of up charges as well but it is what it is i'm looking forward to seeing what it's going to be like i'm expecting the facade to be quite good looking at all of the uh, wooden framework there behind me of course i'm expecting that to be more of the queue line and the start of the experience and then most of it i think 
has already been built inside the uh, former Charlie and the Chocolate Factory show building. Um, worth pointing out that the uh, tall sections you can see here were former lifts as part of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. There was two lifts in there, so I think they're going to be using that space for this attraction, along with the quite long exit corridor that there used to be um, as part of that attraction as well. So who knows, they might even be using um, the lifts themselves, or we might at least recognise the shape um, of them rooms. They were big squares, so I don't know, but work's been going on in here for a good few weeks, I think, now, and the fact we've just started to see the facade going up out the front, I think there's more to it. So I'm looking forward to seeing what it's going to be like. Trick or treat town, um, it's going to be a family experience, uh, but another upcharge attraction as part of this year's lineup. But uh, nonetheless, it's something new in a space that we've not seen used for quite a few years. So I'm looking forward to seeing what it's going to be like. So I've made my way down here into the absolutely gorgeous Alton Towers Gardens to talk about another attraction that is going to be returning for Scarefest this year. It's Garden Lights Walk Whispering Souls. This launched for the first time last year and I absolutely loved what they did with lighting and audio down here in the spectacular gardens. Now, when it was first announced for Scarefest last year, none of us really knew exactly what to expect. Then we came down here on the first day of Scarefest, walked into Whispering Souls, and was blown away by how they transformed the gardens at night. It's gorgeous down here no matter when you come, but at night, it takes it to a whole new level that Alton Towers have never really done before. Um, Utilising some of their original assets um, for Halloween, I think is brilliant, and really enhancing the experience. Um, it was fantastic, so I'm looking forward to it returning for Scarefest this year. It was pretty much perfect last year. If they wanted to enhance it more, maybe they could just put a couple of actors around, maybe dancing and waltzing to some of the creepy music uh, that was playing around. But uh, my favourite part of it was, of course, uh, the wonderful U arches that you can see here just behind me had all the lights all the way down. And the good thing with that, and they actually utilised it for Christmas as well. Uh, unfortunately, at Christmas, the event couldn't go ahead for as long as they were planning due to uh, lockdown restrictions. Hopefully none of that this year. Um, but yeah, um, you know, I really enjoyed Whisper in souls can't wait for it to come back this year hopefully there'll be some more new additions i think it'd be nice to see some more big kind of photo opportunities around as well uh, but even if it comes back exactly the same as last year uh, i'll be more than happy and that's the thing with scarefest attractions when they've been here for one two or even three years they still stay pretty fresh you've got to bear in mind not everyone can make it to scarefest every year so there's no need to change everything every year it's more when attractions have been in for five or six years um, like altonville mine tours the thing starts to become a bit stale but can't wait to see this down here just been having a walk about in terms of seeing any construction so far any lighting set up nothing yet um you've got to think we're still over a month away from Scarefest. last year there was the first time they'd done it so they kind of started quite early um this year they know exactly what they're doing where um plug sockets are and all that kind of stuff so i imagine it's going to be a couple of weeks yet until we start to see more setup down here probably um in the next update that we do i imagine we're going to start to see some more setup and um, for garden lights walk we're Spring Souls, returning for its second year, worth pointing out that it is a free walkthrough experience and it lasts as long as you want. You can take five minutes walking through um, or you can take half an hour. Um, it was lovely. I like just walking through, sitting down at the side and just soaking in the atmosphere. Seeing the pagoda fountain all lit up at night with LEDs was spectacular and I can't wait to see that again um, in just a few weeks time. Yeah. Back down here on the front lawns then now and this will be the main hub for Scarefest 2021. Of course, you'll have all the theming down Tower Street, all the pumpkins, hay bales, and fantastic photo opportunities. And then down here, you'll have the Freaky Fun Zone. Now, it's expected that all the Scarefest entertainment will be taking place on the large stage just over there. Um, they used to have a smaller stage for Scarefest. Last year, it was kind of set up over here in the middle of the lawns, kind of around um, this area, actually. Uh, of course, this year, with them having this new stage over at the side that's been in place all season, I'm expecting all your Halloween entertainment to be on there with the Freaky Five, all of your character shows, meet and greets, and so much more. But yeah, looking forward to that. I'm sure they'll add lots of spooky theming and decorations all around here as well. In terms of CBeebies Land, that'll also be taking part in Scarefest this year um, with the Monster Ball over in Big Fun Showtime. And on Tower Street, the Alton Ancestors will be back. Of course, a returning classic for Scarefest. Well, that brings us to the end of our first Scarefest 2021 construction update here on Theme Park Worldwide. Just the start of it all, really. A bit of early preparation work taking place, going through the attractions that we can expect for this year, and also sharing my thoughts on the 2021 Scarefest lineup. I'm really looking forward to it. And as much as I am a bit disappointed that there isn't a new thrill maze, 
Can't wait for the return of Darkest Depths. Really enjoyed Whispering Souls down in the gardens last year. And just can't wait to see what else they do, especially with the Freaky Fun Zone, with it being a bigger stage now. And yeah, just the general atmosphere of a scare fest. But like I say, I do wish there was a new thrill maze. And also, I wish there was some more scare zones because I used to love uh, the days when they did the scare zones here. And there's no longer any. The fact that we've got five paid for attractions um, isn't the best in my opinion. I would have preferred the, uh, to have been one less scare maze and have a couple of scare zones because I always feel like the scare zones build people up for the paid mazes because if you have some free attractions people go through them and think oh that was great I'll pay to do more and there just isn't that option at Scarefest and there hasn't been for a few years now so uh, I'm looking forward to it still but I don't think it's going to be the strongest year um, looking at the lineup but let's hope for the attractions that they have got this year to have made some changes especially to some of the ones that we've had for many years now returning for its sixth year uh, over in the Towers Ruins Oakville Mine Tours The Legend of the Skin Snatchers but as always stick with us here at Theme Park Worldwide for the latest Scarefest construction updates and information tomorrow I'm going to be down at Thorpe Park filming a Fright Night's construction update because of course they've announced their maze lineup and what we can be expecting from this year's event there uh, so I'll be at Thorpe Park tomorrow and that'll be the next video here on Theme Park Worldwide and, uh, and then of course yeah next week is the start of Oktoberfest here at Alton Towers and also down at Thorpe Park and we're going to be covering both of those here on Theme Park Worldwide as well so stay tuned for that of course following on from that we'll be into the Halloween events um, at lots of different parks and attractions and then the fireworks the big season finale here at Alton Towers but this year we've got the big Christmas event to look forward to as well and I'm really looking forward to that. I'd say out of everything, I'm looking forward to fireworks returning and the Christmas event the most because I really feel like Christmas here um, could be so much more than what it is. So I'm looking forward to that. But this is the start of it really, covering all of these events as we go into autumn and winter 2021 after an awesome summer. So uh, thanks for joining me, Sean Sandbrook. I'll see you at Thorpe Park tomorrow for a Fright Night's construction update. And that leaves me with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. See you in tomorrow's video.